Speed Time Graph The graph of speed against time, as shown here. We draw a right triangle. Here is change in x, and the x-axis represents time. Here is change in y, and the y-axis represents speed. The gradient of speed time graph is the ratio of the change in y-axis to the change in x-axis. So, it is the ratio of change in speed to change in time. Therefore, the gradient of the graph is the acceleration of the object. The area under graph is the half of y multiplied by x. The y represents the speed. The x represents the time. The speed multiplied by time is equal to distance moved. Therefore, the area under graph is the distance moved. A horizontal line graph at the x-axis with zero gradient indicates that the object is rest. Because the speed is zero and no acceleration, a horizontal line graph with zero gradient indicates that the object is moving at constant speed and no acceleration. A straight line graph with a positive constant gradient indicates that the object is moving at increasing speed with constant acceleration. A straight line graph with a negative constant gradient indicates that the object is moving at decreasing speed with constant deceleration. A curved graph with an increasing gradient indicates that the object is moving at increasing speed with increasing acceleration. A curved graph with a decreasing gradient indicates that the object is moving at increasing speed with decreasing acceleration. Example of speed time graph. The speed time graph is shown here. Between A to B shows that the gradient is increasing, so the speed is also increasing with increasing acceleration. Between B to C shows that the gradient is positive constant, so the speed is also increases with constant acceleration. We can find the constant acceleration by the gradient of graph. We draw a right triangle. Here is change in x, or run, is equal to 15, minus 5 is equal to 10. Here is change in y, or rise, is equal to 50, minus 10 is equal to 40. Therefore, the acceleration is equal to 40 divided by 10 is equal to 4 meters per second squared. Between C to D shows that the gradient is decreasing, however the speed is increasing with decreasing acceleration. Between D to E shows that the gradient is zero, so the speed is constant and no acceleration. Between E to F shows that the gradient is negative constant, so the speed is decreasing with constant deceleration. We can find the constant deceleration by the gradient of graph. We draw a right triangle. Here is change in x, or run, is equal to 32.5, minus 25 is equal to 7.5. Here is change in y, or rise, is equal to 60. Therefore, the deceleration is equal to 60 divided by 7.5 is equal to 8 meters per second squared. We can find the average speed by the total distance moved divided by total time. The total distance moved is equal to the area under graph. The area under between A to B is approximately to area at here. So we combine area under graph between A to B with area under between C to D as a rectangle. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is equal to 5 times 60 is equal to 300. Area under graph between B to C forms a trapezium shape. So it is equal to sum of 10 and 50 and times 10 over 2 is equal to 300. Area under graph between D to E to F form a trapezium shape. So, it is equal to sum of 5 and 12.5 times 60 over 2 is equal to 525. The total area under graph 
is equal to 300 plus 300 plus 525 is equal to 1125. Therefore, the total distance moved is equal to 1125 meters. The average speed is equal to 1125 divided by 32.5 is equal to 34.6 meters per second, rounded to three significant figures. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.